Hey everybody, welcome back to Queen Bean's Collectibles. So we had quite a bit of fun with the toy hunting recently. I hit quite a few different stores. I knew everybody was starting to drop all of their Christmas stuff. So I thought it would be cool to kind of show you guys what I was seeing in the different places I went. I went pretty much everywhere I could under the sun. Um, you're gonna see clips from Big Lots, CVS, Ross, Target, Walmart. I stopped at a small toy show. I went to an antique mall. So like there is a whole heck of a lot you guys are gonna be seeing in this one. Hopefully you guys enjoy it because I certainly had a lot of fun going out and exploring. What I thought was interesting about Big Lots is they seem to be like the hub for the Zuru Sparkle Girls. They literally had everything under the sun for them, even the new stuff. So if you guys are interested in those Zuru Sparkle Girls, I highly suggest you check out a Big Lots if there's anyone near you. I saw those Sparkle Girls and those glitzies, like, I don't know if those are 18 inch or not, but I just thought they were so cute. I think it's the first time I've seen a doll of that size that I was actually interested in. Because they just looked so cute and like, I guess more fashion doll-esque. Because I don't really like the ones that look, you know, more like a toddler or what have you. I don't know, I guess it's just personal preference. And I thought it was cool at Big Lots too that they had a lot of like room decor and bedding. So I took a quick clip of that as well. And then they had a few different aisles of toys. I am seriously seeing those Jack Pacific Disney princesses everywhere. I mean, literally everywhere now. It seems like you can't look around without seeing them. And I thought those giant lip balms were hilarious for those LOL OMGs. Like, I don't know. I just think those lip balms were so funny. Like, could you imagine a little kid trying to put that on? Like, they're gonna cover their whole face in chapstick. I just thought it was hilarious. And then they had these really cool, I don't even remember where I saw these. This might've been Big Lots too. But they had cool stuff like cereal based, like Cinnamon Toast Crunch and stuff like that. It was weird, but I very much liked it. And they have holiday Pokemon. I mean, I could not complain there either. Those are really cute. And then I do hit a savers. Actually, I hit a couple savers. Um, and this, oh, this lunchbox was incredibly tempting. I don't think there's a lot of people out there that love the pick me pops, but I love pick me pops. So I kind of wish I would have grabbed it, but I have this weird thing about lunchboxes. I already think I have like at least three or four and I just don't know where I'd put another one. So I passed up on that. There were some cool old Barbie movies on VHS, brings me back, memories. And the doll section was pretty well stocked. A lot of stuff all over the place. The Darth Vader sitting in that 18 inch doll desk literally had me dying. I don't know who set it up, but I thought it was hilarious. And do you guys see that really cool like dolphin cart? It looks like maybe it was for like Ariel. Maybe it was like her little carriage. I, that was really cool too. If it wasn't so dirty, I would have picked it up. But I don't think it was something I could clean. I mean, I could scrub it never endingly, but who knows. And plenty of stuff to look at in the doll section as well. Sorry, the clips aren't perfect. You guys know how it is sometimes at these thrift stores, especially in the toy area. Uh, it's not always the most friendly place for adult collectors to be. There's usually kids running and screaming and or parents looking at you funny. So that's always a joy. But I'm starting to get better at not caring as much and just going out and enjoying myself because I know there's a lot of us out here who enjoy this too. So may as well share the wealth, right? But yeah, just a lot of the regular run of the mill Barbies. Nothing, nothing too crazy or out of the ordinary here, but always still fun to look because you never know when you are going to come across something cool. And I like the vintage Barbies. I don't collect them myself, but I do like the way they look from afar. So it's kind of cool to see those. Those babies were terrifying. You see how fast I moved those away because they were very scary. I don't know what they are, but I did not like them. And yeah, just more of your run of the mill stuff. Nothing too crazy. There was one Moxie girl. She's pretty. She's missing her feet. I felt it through the bag. So I was like, oh, I don't have any Moxie girl shoes. So I may as well leave her behind. Let somebody else take her home. But yeah, no such luck in this doll section this time. I mean, again, still fun to look, but no such luck on this particular trip. But I do also, I know it sounds bizarre, I love to look at the puzzles. Why? Because I think that they have cool art that you can use, and then you could always build the puzzle, glue it, and use it as a poster. 
because I keep seeing like puzzles for my scene and Barbie and Bratz and things that we don't really see on the shelves anymore. Like even Strawberry Shortcake and Care Bears. I just think this is a cool way to like even make your own poster or like a cheap way to display stuff. I think it's a cool idea. Uh, nothing of particular interest to me this time around. Can you believe they are charging almost $90 at the thrift store for the Barbie movie theater? I about died. I was like, no, 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 no. I will not. And it was tempting, but not for $90. That's insane. And then I stopped by, I think either like a Burlington or a Ross, one of those. Nothing too crazy or exciting or out of the ordinary. I feel like I'm finally seeing some new dolls here and there. Um, I did finally see the Barbie extra case on sale here. That was quite honestly pretty tempting. They still had some mermaid high dolls, tons of squishimals, or however you pronounce that correctly. They had tons of those. I feel like it was kind of surprising. I feel like these literally just hit shelves, but I could be wrong. And this gal, oh, she was tempting. I've been wanting her for so long, but I don't have any of the na 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 teens. I only have the small ones. And I feel like it'd look funny to have like a giant one next to all my small ones. And I'm getting the kitty camper for Christmas. So I'm kind of excited to put the small ones in there. And I just think the big one would look a little funky. But now we make our way to Macy's. And that's when I'm showing you guys that Jeffrey bench. Do we not all miss the Jeffrey bench? I know I do. But yeah, this Macy's was stacked. Duh. They were awesome. When they say there's a Toys R Us built in, they were not lying. There is so much stuff at this Macy's. It was mind blowing. Miraculous. LOMG. Rainbow High. Monster High. Monster High Creepover dolls were here. That was wild. I haven't seen those anywhere else yet. And the new Nana Surprise Gem dolls. Haven't seen those anywhere else either. And the new Nana Surprise Teens. I mean, literally loaded. It was so cool. And they had a lot of sales going on. So make sure you are checking out the local aisles at your Macy's. Especially if you're still hunting around for some of the Rainbow High dolls that are disappearing off of shelves very quickly. Macy's knew what was up. They had so much stuff to choose from. And not everything was on sale. Don't get me wrong. Some stuff was still regular price. But... Still really cool to see this stuff all in one place. It was such an absolute blast. It felt like I was back at a Toys R Us. I was living. And look at this giant display for Dream Ella. Never seen one before, straight up. Thought it was so cool. And all these plush pets, fur by the foot. I haven't seen too many reviews on those yet, but those are super cute. The Harry Potter stuff's really starting to grow on me. I'm not even that big of a fan, but all these little play sets really are adorable. And I feel like the pricing is pretty good as well. And they had a ton of Ava stars. I feel like this is the first time I've even seen at least one of them. I know I've seen like Kwai Pai and um, Dreamer 3.0, but there were a couple I'd not seen before. And these, I don't even know what these are, What whatever V friends are. I mean, they were cute, but I, I don't really know what they go to. Maybe a TV show. I need to go Google it, obviously. And they had a lot of cute blind bag stuff, a lot of little odds and ends. I always like the mini stuff. And look at this whole end cap ah, of Barbie Extra. That was so cool. Tons of adorables. Just, I mean, seriously stocked to the rafters. It was just bananas. They had a whole display of the Disney dolls. And they even had some Art Squad dolls there. I mean, they literally had everything. Look at all these Barbie extras. I mean, they've got like all of them. This is just, uh, it was amazing. It was kind of a drive to get to this one. It's not as close as a lot of the other stores are, but this was well worth the journey. This took up, I would say maybe a third of the floor in Macy's I was in, and it was a three-story Macy's. So it took up a good chunk of the bottom floor. Um, for those of you in Illinois, this, I believe, was Bolingbrook or Oak Brook. One of the two. Um, but yeah, I mean, seriously, look at this. And I'm a sucker for Blue's Clues. And they had just stacks of Blue's Clues. It was wild. Now, they were very clearly restocking and moving things around. And I just kept kind of creeping around, hoping they were getting rid of some displays. Did I get lucky and find one? No, I did not. But... I will continue to try. 
And then I saw some of those cool bright fairy friends. I went down the street to a local Walmart, saw a Toroli, which was cool. Um, saw the coffee bean, or coffin bean again. Woo. Sometimes I forget how to talk, apparently. It was cool to see all those BFF dolls. Cool to see more of the Creepover dolls. They have obviously made their way into Walmart by me as well. I mean, only Frankie, but it was still cool to see her. And then tons of dolls in the Walmart clearance. Of course, not the rainbow high I was hoping for, but what are you going to do? And then I made my way to an amazing antique store. Do you see what I see? Those Neopets? Yeah, you can guess what came home with me. And then this vintage little pet shop that is the exact one I had as a kid. Yeah, that was pretty tempting. 65. I could not get behind spending 65 bucks on it, so I had to walk away. But let me tell you, that is my holy grail. That exact case, that is the one I had as a kid that I forever will miss. And I've mostly gotten all the pets back that I've ever had, but oh, I would love that case. Maybe someday. If anybody ever sees it on sale, you better tell me. And yeah, now we're off to an antique store, or still in the antique store. A lot of cute little puppies in there. Couldn't recognize the pink poodle. If anybody recognized that, feel free to put it in the comments. Kind of curious. It reminded me a lot of like a Lottie Da doll, but I don't know if the Lottie Da dolls ever had pets. So if you recognize that pink poodle, let me know, because I'm very curious. Um, and it wasn't too expensive and it was kind of cute. So I might be a little tempted to go back. This particular store is not that far from my house, so I do try to go here every couple months. It's not a place that, like, consistently, you know, rotates their stock by any means, but it's still a lot of fun to go. You never know what's going to catch your eye that you may have missed the first time you went. There's always a ton of Disney stuff here. Toys mixed in here and there. I didn't even recognize that blue-haired doll. She was tall. I don't really know who she is or what she goes to. She reminded me of a Bratz kid, but I've never seen a Bratz kid in that size. So if anybody recognizes her, feel free to shout it out because I'm very curious. And then here's that short little toy con I went to. You're not gonna see a whole lot recorded here. It was pretty small. And it was mostly like comic book oriented stuff, Star Wars, you know, stuff like that. Not really my bag, but it was still fun to look around. And then I hit my final savers and was very, very tempted by some Barbies in the box and tempted by this little pet shop case. Uh, I think if it had the other um, case cover on the left, I probably would have done it. Let's be serious. And then we make our way to the dolls. And this was wild. I must have just gotten there after they restocked because somebody had clearly gotten rid of their entire collection of live dolls. I think I counted at least 10, most of which who had their wigs. Um, and we're in pretty dang good shape. I would say most of them were nude. I didn't really see a lot of clothing on them. But I just could not believe not just how many dolls there were, but also that they were Liv dolls. And I don't collect Liv dolls personally, although this definitely would have been the day to start. Um, I was very, very tempted. But I had already bought those Neopets. I bought three of them. So I was trying to control myself. And I said, you know what? I bet... There is a live collector out there who would die to get their hands on this stuff. So I just decided to video it and leave these gals behind for the next person. But yeah, I just, wow, so many live dolls. It was so cool. Um, I don't, I normally see like one, maybe two in all of my finds, but finding like a full blown con collection donated, not even being resold online. That's wild. That's rare. That's rare, my friends. So if you are a fan of Live Dolls and you live in Northern Illinois, you better start hitting your savers because somebody's out here donating a ton of these. A ton of these. And not at a bad price either. I don't think any of them were more than like maybe $4.99, $5.99. And even that for two Live Dolls that are in good shape with wigs, I don't think that's that bad at all. And the girl with like the reddish hair and the blue eyes definitely tempted me, but... Again, really trying to behave, trying to stick to what I already collect, not trying to branch out too far, because then I will never stop, because I have no control whatsoever. I couldn't tell, I think that's an Ever After High doll, was it? I don't know if anybody recognizes her with the mermaid tail. If you do, let me know. Again, I'm very curious. There were some Nana Na Surprise dolls hiding in these stuffed animals, and some My Little Ponies. Nothing I got at this particular one, but again... 
I always have a blast looking. And then I saw that Blue's Clues stuffy. And once again was tempted. Oh, this Savers was just, just a huge score this time around. Just had awesome stuff. I guess I just picked a really good day to go. Do I remember what day that was? No, I wish I did. But yeah, there's a Rainbow Bright doll, I think. Um, and a couple of My Little Ponies. I saw this Bratz couch. I don't know if anybody else remembers it, but that was very, very tempting. And then here's kind of like an overview of everything I showed you. There's that My Little Pony castle. Very, 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 very tempting. They had the little pet shop house. That was also tempting. I just, oh my goodness. It was just too much and I had a coupon and I was like, oh girl, you got to still walk away. Walk away. But yeah, I remember having this castle. Super cool. God, I love going to Savers. It's like a walk down memory lane every time. They always have at least one or two things that I recognize. And I just think it's super fun. They had some Thai girls here as well. I try to get a good shot of them later on. My camera wasn't super cooperative with me this day, so you're gonna hopefully get the best of uh, the thrifting videos I've got here. And there's a Barbie plane. Another Littlest Pet Shop house. And some kind of horse I did not recognize. Same with that one. And I don't know about anybody else, but I know this house. I know this Bratz Snow Lodge house. I remember this very well. If it was not beaten up so badly, I would have grabbed it in a heartbeat. But it was beat up and there was so much coloring on it that I did not know if I could physically get that off of it. So I didn't want to, you know, take the risk and not be able to do it. So I moved on and I headed off to, I think, another Walmart where they had some cute stuff. Um, and I'm really into these like scribble scrubby things. I think they're really cute. I don't have any anymore, but they're cute. Um, I did end up donating them because my collections were out of control. And look at me now as if that's changed. But yeah, I saw some of the Masquerade Party LOL tweens. A lot of the new Honey Bear, Honey Bee Acres uh, stuff is out now. There's like that little Volkswagen bus um, and a lot of the cutesy little families. I put the Volkswagen in my hands and then put it down and put it in my hands, put it down. Could not make a decision. Ended up skipping out on it. And then I hit the Claire's next door just to see kind of what fun plushies they might have for us to take a gander at. As usual, they had the Pilosh pets, which always tempt me. And here are a bunch of really cool Black Friday packs from Walmart. They're selling the LOL Tweens and the Rainbow High Junior High dolls in multi-packs for 70 bucks on Black Friday. So if you are interested in those, that would be the time to pick those up. And there were a few more clearance dolls I just showed you guys a little bit of. But then I headed home. And here are the three Neopets I grabbed. I got a Yisha, Kachik, and a Shoiru. You have noticed they are all the blue ones. I like blue a lot. And then I also found Powerpuff Girl socks and finally found the Rainbow High socks that everyone's had for forever. But I finally found them, so now I have them too. And here's my Skylar doll that I found hiding in a Kohl's Rainbow Vision display. So this is what I found for the week. I hope you all enjoyed going on this adventure with me and Titus interrupting our final shot here. Let me know in the comments what you thought. I really appreciate you guys listening in on my video. I hope you like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm honestly just happy to have you here and happy to talk to some other adult toy collectors. So thanks again, guys. I'll see you on the next video.